naked. So recently, a green bear picked up a brand new book that he is very excited about at a book fair. And you may be wondering, oh, storyteller, you don't look particularly happy about it because this is not a happy face. And well, if you're wondering why I look like this about Green Bear's new book, this is why. Yes! It's the grossest picture book ever! Open it! Open it! Open it! Show them! Show them! Show them! Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna show you because it's not just the grossest picture book ever. Oh no! It's autographed to me! <laughs> read it! Read it! Read it! No, no! You read it, Green Bear. It's yours. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. To Green Bear, my grossest friend! He called me his grossest friend! Now look, look! Now, the author, he autographed it. That's Green that's him. Mm-hmm. And what else? <laughs> he drew me a special picture for me of poop! Poop it, poop it, poop! Yay! So, as you can see, I'm happy that he got a book that he's excited about, but I have mixed feelings about what awaits me within. So, let's go. Oh, yes, I figured that was the appropriate ring. It would match the book, right? Yeah. Of all the places to live coast to coast, our town is the grossest. That's why it's called gross. What makes gross the grossest the world's ever seen? Let's meet a few folks and you'll see what I mean. Welcome to gross population 440,000 humans and 44 bajillion bugs. That's the number. Uh, Green Bear, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good with math. Can you just, oh yeah, that's 44 billion bugs, billion. That's what I said, bajillion. Larry Magoo has a truck made of boo. It stinks when it starts and it's powered by farts. <sighs> When he drives around town, all the streets turn to brown. <laughs> when crossing the street, you best stay on your feet. If you trip on a curb, you'll fall deep in a turd. <laughs> this is awesome. Keep reading. Okay, um, but first of all, oh, this is going to be, again, I've said it before. I'll say it again. Be glad that this right here is not smell-o-vision. This guy's got the right idea there, and and so is she, and I'd hate to be the person who has to do that kid's laundry. His fart-powered engine is sweeping the nation. Some beans and your butt are the perfect gas station. <laughs> beans and butt, that's the perfect combination. Saving the world, he proclaims, is his mission, since stinkified steam is the only emission. <laughs> Poor Bambi and Thumper. Oh, I feel you guys. Also, congratulations, Todd of Gross, 1,000 straight days of perfect air quality. How do they define air quality? Is it just because it's clean? I mean, does the smell not a factor at all here? I mean, it is a renewable resource, but this is ridiculous. So, if you see Larry, no need to be wary. Say, big thanks to you for your truck made of pearl. Oh, no. This is Storyteller's Nightmare right here. Oh, Libby Sue Groaches has millions of roaches. They live in her house and they crawl on her blouse. Ew! Oh, this is the best book I have ever seen in my entire life. Look at that. The decor, the creatures. Yum! Oh, I'm so grossed out right now. I don't even know how I'm going to turn the page. Do you need a hand? Oh, actually, I do, which I said. <laughs> I can't miss a page of this. Wow, she has never been helpful before. When somebody tells her, those pests are not pets, she tells them, the best pets can sometimes be pests. Don't play with your words. It is really gross. She takes them for walks, and they get a few shocks. I'm out to buy eggs, not see six million legs. And this guy right here is like, 
kind of how I feel right now. And she's freaking out and he is upset and she's, oh yeah, oh yeah. That's what happens when you take your roaches to the grocery store. <laughs> That's what you call a pun, isn't it? Have you actually been listening to my kid time story times? No. Hmm. Let me guess. What? You need help turning the page again, don't you? I mean, since you're feeling so helpful, ooh, I'll turn it for you. But you know, you're really needy. Ooh. I'm not needy. Just, okay, just temporarily needy. Libby says that her roaches are good for the city. They eat all the scraps and keep everything pretty. Well, I mean, I do um, appreciate the help, but I don't really appreciate the help. No, I take that back. So if you see Libby, no need to get snippy. Say thank you, Miss Groaches, for walking your roaches. Yes, thank you very much. Finally, somebody knows how to do things around here. Um, speaking of doing things, oh, what? You need the page turn again? You're so needy. Oh, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. I will show her I am not needy. I can do, I can do this myself. Although I really still don't want to. Okay, I'm gonna turn the, oh, there's a roach there. And, and there's a roach there. Okay, how, wait, there's a roach everywhere. Okay, let me try to sort of. Uh, uh, did it. Benjamin Blot has a house made of snacks. Oh, they can't run out of gross ideas in this book. Blot saved up his snot since his days as a tot. Why? Why would he do that? The snot he collected was stored by the block and over the years became harder than rock. I would ask why, but there is really not a good answer, I feel, to that question. Good thing I still have the glove. <laughs> the house was constructed. At first, it was grimy, but soon the sun's heat made it slippery and slimy. Oh no, the rock hard snot is melting, but he's just taking a selfie like this is all normal. The snot makes a splish when you open the doors. The snot makes a squish when you walk on the floors. Benjamin says, how I love my green halls. Now let's make some snot angels on my green walls. Yay, yay, nay, yay. Ooh, I've got, a, I've got an idea for an addition to my bat cave. Oh, no. This book is inspiring bad ideas. But the reason a booger built house is the best? No trees had to die like with all of the rest. I mean, I appreciate the eco-friendly message, but there surely must be a clean renewable resource. Emphasis on the clean. When visiting Ben, go relax in his den. I will. Then say, thank you a lot for your snot lot, Ben Blot. And they're eating. Okay, who are these children? Who are they who are enjoying all this grossness so much? Oh my goodness, I almost touched it with my bare hand. Okay, here we go. All of this grossness, I'm sure that you're starving. Not really. Let's eat at McButts and find out what they're carving. What did I just say? You just said McButt. The book made you say McButt. <laughs> this is the best day ever. As soon as you're seated to feast at McButts, they bring you hot bread with tarantula guts, then lizards on sticks, and then gizzards on pigs, then termites on toast, and then worm rotted roast. I am definitely having McButts serve at my next party. You don't have parties. Yes, I do. You just don't get invited. <laughs> well, you know what? Honestly, I am relieved. For dessert, they bring ice cream, but nothing hard stopping. McButt says, don't eat till we give you your topping. They wheel in the hoses and turn them on fast. Then mucus streams out like a cannonball blast. Green McButterscotch? Is that just liquid snot? I... Hold it in. 
I've got to keep going because you know the storyteller creed, right? Because if I don't do it, you know who's going to remind me? I'll go ahead and remind you anyway. Fine. You cannot stop reading a book halfway, especially when you're at the really disgusting snotty part. <laughs> I might have added that part. <laughs> I know you added that part. All right, here we go. Storyteller creed makes me keep going. Ooh, McButt says, don't eat, for it's not yet complete. What's grosser than mucus? That's right, only pukes. Mm-hmm. McButt pulls a rope in, a trap door flies open, then barfified slop piles high on the tabletop. Again, who are these kids? I hope that's not like you. You would never. You wouldn't. It's too gross. <laughs> you will at my party. I'm not invited, remember? You are now. No, no. I, I, I'm, I'm washing my hair that day. But somehow the barf and the mucus is yummy. McButt says, the food here is good for your tummy. Our motto is, nothing need ever be wasted, for sometimes the gross stuff is best to be tasted. So eat at McButt's. We won't think that you're nuts. I will say thanks for the plates full of innards and guts. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, whoever made this glove. Yes, there's probably no town that's grosser than gross, but today was the day that was grossest the most. Larry Magoo, that guy, and his truck made of, you know what, Pill is happily driving down Avenue Q, but Libby Sue Groaches is walking her roaches. They cheer as the truck made of poo fast approaches. Is there gonna be some kind of a crazy, disgusting collision? Not believing their luck, the bugs leap on the truck and the poo truck spins out like an icy hockey puck. The poo brakes are shot, but the roaches care not as they crash through the snot house. Oh, Benjamin Blot, they crashed into the snot house with the roaches and the... Ah! The people of Gross are not sad or morose. They all shot, hooray, this is grosser than gross. They pour in the house. There's not one who is tardy for history's very first roach poop snot party. Oh, this sounds amazing. Oh, this sounds amazing. Whoa, whoa. What you have a shit? Green thing. Bear thing. Does this mean that you and I might have something in common? Oh, I never thought about that. You know, maybe I could come to the party. You know. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I, that was weird. There's poop on the roaches and roaches on snot. And the folks are so happy that they spew on the spot because I guess spewing is a sign of celebration in gross. They have seen many days, both the foul and bizarre, but today was the grossest we've witnessed so far. All right, this book is totally mine. No, no, it's mine. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Show her. It, it, it actually technically is Witch Jefferson Green Bear's book. No, prove it. Yeah, prove it, show her. All right, I'll show you. Everybody step aside. I oh, got the gross. Here, here we go. Here we go. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. All right, Witch Jefferson, look for yourself. Oh, no. I want to read Witch Jefferson to Witch Jefferson, my grossest friend. It's for me. Okay, okay, okay. Just just go to whimsicalworldbooks.com. You expect me to remember that? No. Actually, just click on the link below in the description to whimsicalworldbooks.com. And then what? And then you can order your own book, and the, the, the authors are really nice. And gross. And gross. And they will sign the book for you. To which episode? Yes. They know how to spell it? Tell them. Okay. And then? And then they'll send you the book and some extra stuff that they're going to throw in for you. Ooh, like a bat? Actually, I have no idea. Ooh, I'm going to get a book and a bat. Okay. And I'm going to get out of here lightning fast and take a shower in Lysol. <laughs>